Hey, what's up my fellow nerds? This is Sal with another video, video, quick video. My last video for Ghostface. Didn't get a lot of views, but if I help that one person make the right decision of buying that costume, then that's that's fine with me. Uh, thank you for the people that watched it. Um, if you uh, if you like the video, please go back and like it. I really appreciate it. But anyways, ever since that video, funny story, story two days after, I started watching videos like for this Ghostface for for Ghostface, which as y'all know, he's a freaking anybody could be Ghostface. That's a cool thing about it. You don't have to be super tall, super big, super buff, uh, no muscle suits. Anybody could be Ghostface. That's what that's the beauty of that costume. Uh, and I, I don't know. I just started watching more movies, and I realized how much I like Ghostface, like as a character. And yeah, I uh, bought the other costume, and but ever since I started watching videos uh, for different rope makers, like uh, Ghostface rope uh, rope makers, uh, was, was the Scream Rose being one of the most popular ones? I joined a Facebook group and just started looking through 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 the groups through the posts. Well, anyways, I went on offer out see if I could find a, a better rope than the one from the 25th anniversary which is a great great alternative if you're on a budget <clears throat> couldn't find anything um, but then I went to Mercari Mercari another site that's like eBay and I just put ghost face rope that's all I put well guess what I got lucky and it's just crazy guys uh, it's just crazy how I found this sick looking rope. Look at the difference. Look at the difference, guys. Shoot, it's just, I don't know what's with me and Halloween getting lucky or just overall getting lucky. I believe in karma and I believe whatever, when you're positive, positive things happen and I try to stay positive now more than before. I like to keep that negativity, Keep that negativity out of my life uh, but anyways I got lucky there was a seller and um, just want to give you guys a heads up when it comes to Mercari guys if you guys ever use it check the reviews there's a lot of scammers out there if it has zero reviews or one review look at the pictures too the pictures sometimes are, are grabbed from eBay I have ran into this issue once luckily I got my money back it was for an action figure for my kid uh, I got lucky uh, I didn't realize until after I saw that same picture on eBay which kind of sucks anyways guys so I Google I, I, I went to Mercari let me put this on man I went to Mercari put ghost robe uh, ghost face ropes or screen rope and this came out um, the the what's it called um, the seller had a few pictures and this was cool about this I'll show you guys right now uh, he had a few pictures. He didn't know who was the maker. He said he had sold prior to this one. He had sold another uh, rope, which was by Scream Ropes, uh, which was one of the best makers. Or um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people say Scream Ropes are better, and then there's another maker, and then there's another maker. Well, this person that went into the group asked the question. You know, me being a noob, a new to the screen ropes, I asked, "Has anybody? Does anybody have an idea who makes this rope? Reason why the seller is selling it for a great price? I just bought it, so I, I bought it right away. Uh, I offer a guy, the guy, two fifty, and he took it. He said that's fine. Uh, this was made for uh, somebody that's six feet tall, which I'm five ten, and I know scream uh, ghost face rope supposed to be a little bit higher, like up to here." But to me, if it's perfect, it's fine. I took a shot in the dark and I, I got it. Anyway, so one of the users from uh, the Scream uh, Facebook, um, Scream Facebook group, told me that it was, bought, it, it was it's made by Nail, Neo Nails Cosplay, N-E-L Cosplay. So I believe it's a lady that makes these ropes and she makes different ones. This is from the 1996 one. And I asked them like, you know, uh, I paid a certain amount that I make a good trip that I pay overpaid or or is it a cheaper like is it a cheap robe uh, is it like should I not have like should I have paid less 
Or, but anyways, he said, because the, the guy had pictures, and this is how he recognized it, it has slits right here on the arms, I mean by the wrist. So you can take out your, your hands whenever you need to. Also, what's pretty cool about this, it has another slit right here for pockets. And you cannot see it. Well, t let me tell you guys. This rope is day and night when it comes to ropes. Well, compared to the 25th anniversary one. The gloves are attached to the arms. The right length, in my opinion, is heavy. It's it's a heavy rope. It's not it's not like the other one. The the shine to it, the glitter. Man, when I got this rope, I was just damn. This is pretty cool. Glad I pulled the trigger. Um, but yeah, guys. So this is made by Nail Cosplay, and I believe they go for around two hundred to three hundred dollars. Well, this one's a little bit more sought after because of the, the slits on the arms. That's what he said. They go for over 400 so I got a good deal on it. This has become one of my most liked uh, costumes when it comes to horror. I mean, I have many, or oh, I had many, but the reason why is just because it's so comfortable. It's really comfortable. It's not like I have to put this huge mask, sweating like crazy in it. It's really breathable. You could be in shorts in this thing if you wanted to. <laughs> Just wear some boots and that's it. But the material, guys, this is just like uh, the the side. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it really like well. But this is based on the 1996 uh, movie. You guys, this is just crazy. The gloves supposed to be a little bit big. I seen the movie again. And yeah, they were supposed to be perfect. They're actually kind of big. Um, and this is the the blade that I was showing you guys. This is a blade, a Bowie knife, from Amazon. Uh, let me put this up a little bit more. Uh, this is from Amazon, so it's a foam blade. Just put screen blade or screen prop knife. I put like some fake blood on it. Uh, again, you don't have to. I think I should have put less because Ghostface always cleans the knife. Uh, it's pretty cool, $20, looks real. Uh, you could weather, I need to weather it better. It was just a quick weathering because it was like, I got it a day of a party, so I just had to do it quick. But yeah, it's pretty cool guys, looks real. Um, I like the, the, the finish on it, but you could customize it to make it look however you want. Uh, it's about this. $20. I'm pretty sure this is fake because there's no tag in it. Um, I bought the what uh, the what's up, uh, mask. Uh, yeah, I think this one's fake. I don't think it's real just because it doesn't have a tag in it. It does have the um, Easter Unlimited made in China in the bottom. So I don't know if it's real or fake, but it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, I got lucky. So hopefully, if you guys are into Ghostface, this video helps. So that lady, it's on Etsy, I believe. Um, Neil Cosplays, Neil Cosplays, N-E-L, remember N-E-L Cosplays. Um, pretty heavy, really comfortable. She makes them to your size. So she asks for your size, at least the height. So they have to be a little bit higher. But guys, Halloween is over, but I'm always looking for deals when it comes to uh, to to cosplaying and uh, costumes. I should be. I'm, I'm gonna be wearing this at Frankenstein's. Uh, hope you guys like this video. But look at this thing. Uh, I think I did put the Velcro. I haven't even put the Velcro. Let me go get the other mask. Also, a cool thing about this is that this one did come with this Velcro uh, on the hoodie right here on top. And it has like a piece of a, like cardboard, I don't know if it's cardboard inside the hoodie, like around around the, the head. Um, so it's kind of stiff. So it sits pretty well, it feels like cardboard, could be wrong. Uh, pretty big. And I just put a little bit of Velcro right here on top of my uh, ghost face aged mask. And I also put, uh, darker mesh behind this one just so you won't see my eyes so you guys can see how it looks
and this thing goes to the back. And I believe we have to thing it. Right there. And I think I did it right. I did it wrong. Let me check. And this was cool about this. You could just take out the gloves. If you need to do anything with your hands. So I guess I just need to reshape this. There you go. And there you go guys. This is the costume. Tell me this doesn't look badass. Three hundred dollars. If you get it from Etsy, I believe. Uh, pretty sure you can ask for the the sleeves uh, cut out. Just wear some long sleeves so you won't see your skin. So guys, this is sick. Like this is just. Like, tell me this is not cool. This is just badass guys, so I, I thought I could make this video for you guys, for people that are looking to buy this costume from that maker. Uh, you could buy it from any maker uh, you like. Scream ropes, uh, I think they're about $400 shipped. No matter how many, how, what uh, movie design you want, so you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever you want. And it's four hundred dollars. I believe, in my opinion, in my opinion, from what I've seen in the movies, I like this one. I like the original. And this is just, this is just thick. You cannot see through it. You cannot see through it. And I like the other one, but again, if you're in a budget, go for the twenty-fifth anniversary. If you could afford this one, I'll say go with this one. And I wasn't even aware, guys. There's some mask. This is so crazy to me. But I know there's many collectors out there. There's masks that cost up to a thousand dollars. So if you have the ones from 1996, 97, like the old school vintage ones, it's called vintage now. Damn, I'm, I'm that old. Um, they're they're pretty expensive. This is the one from the 25th anniversary. I think I'm just gonna go buy another one, just in case, just because I like it so much. I'm gonna try to get like different masks. They're pretty cheap, like fifteen dollars, twenty dollars. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get into this whole Ghostface thing I did. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. I really, will really, 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 really like if you guys like, subscribe. Um, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Again, guys, uh, please, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, other than that, hope you guys have a good day. Love this setup. It's not 100% accurate but it's the closest thing you're gonna get if you want 100% accurate you're gonna go have to steal freaking costume from like the vault like the vault from the scene from the set and now guys amazing costume and then at the end of the day is what makes you happy and to me this brought a smile to my face which I didn't know I needed it I know I wanted it but I'm now glad I have it all right guys to the next one